Hi, Darren Hall here from bet72.com again. Just a brief video which is prompted by um, a question which has been posted in our Odds Matcher Pro community group over on Facebook. And it concerns how we can possibly take advantage of bookmaker offers where they are offering additional places in horse racing. So you know the sort of thing where generally you get paid out on the first three places if you make an each way bet. Bookmakers can offer four, five, we've even seen a six place payout this week at Royal Ascot. And generally these do centre around a lot of the uh, sort of bigger meetings or bigger races. Um, so there are quite a few throughout the, um, throughout the calendar and certainly worth taking a look at. Um, as always, the question is really, is it value? So when we actually take one of these um, particular offers, then we need to just assess whether it is actually worth our while based on the value which is being put on the table. So the idea here is just to show you a quick example of how you can calculate it and then decide for yourself whether it's actually worth getting involved or not. So you can see here we've got some stuff preloaded already on the screen and a particular race we got asked about today was um, the final race um, of Friday at Royal Ascot. Uh, the Queen's Vars, where basically Skybet is a bookmaker in question here, and they're paying out five places. So traditionally, you would you know you'd expect to see three places being paid out on this particular race. Um, and if we look down here, we can see the terms here. So for an each way bet, then we've got one fifth of the odds for the first five places. So basically, what that means is we will place an each way bet with the bookmaker, and in order then to make it risk-free we naturally need to lay it off on the uh, on the betting exchange and the idea really behind this is what we're looking to do is sort of find a middle um, or a sweet spot within with, with, within the actual bet because if you think about it obviously when you have an each way bet it's split into two elements there's the win element which is obviously if a horse goes on to win and then there's a place element now usually like we say there's different place numbers depending on the number of runners who are in a race but if we just assume there's three places um, which is obviously what they're saying here on a particular offer because of the number of runners in the race then um, what we would do is if we can actually get a lay bet so that we are laying a horse say in the first three or we're laying the place on Betfair then if the horse does finish fourth or fifth then we are going to get paid out on the betting exchange because it's not finished in the ter in the first three, um, so our lay bet has won, and also we're going to get paid out by the bookmaker because what the bookmaker is saying is they're going to pay out anything up to five places. So that that's what we're looking to try and achieve. We're trying to get paid out on both sides basically, um, but naturally, in order for that to occur sensibly, then we need to be able to take a position that's not going to cost us too much money in the first place. So again, that's where it comes down to value. But there's a very quick way just to assess that and, and you can sort of rattle through uh, particular selections just to see if there's any actual value within those um, uh, within those particular bets where they're offering the enhanced place. So I had a quick look at this race earlier and we're going to look at the third horse here, uh, Land of Hope and Glory. Uh, Ryan Moore on board and it's shown here as 15, 15 to 2 um, with the bookmaker so that's 8.5 um, in decimal if we go over to Betfair then we'll see here that it's price has not really moved here we obviously don't get 8.5 because there's a split of the um, uh, split of the decimals but we've got 8.6 or possibly even 8.4 if you're queuing because the price seems to be looking though it's going to come in a little bit so um so so there's the price so that is like possibly quite a good quite a good candidate there now the key really here is to look at the place side now if we look on the this side of the um race then we've obviously got the wind market which we're looking at each way which we're going to disregard if we click on place here then this is a standard place market so this and if you go down and actually read the rules of it, it was going to say that it's going to pay out on the first three places. Um, so basically, uh, if you back selection here, so if we back uh, Land of Hope and Glory and it finishes in the first three, then we're going to get paid out at 3.1. Conversely, if we lay it and it finishes outside of the first three, 
then again we're going to we're going to actually win our bet so so that's what we're looking to try and construct but you'll also notice here but it now offers four places as well because of the size of the race then it can give us an opportunity to actually get involved with four places as well so equally the, you know the odds are going to be shorter because there's more more chance of that actually occurring but again if we backed at any of these prices and our horse finished in the first four it doesn't matter where it could be one two three or four we would get paid out at that amount um, and conversely if we laid it and it finishes outside this first four then again we're going to actually um, win some money based on what we actually stake so what we need to do is see have we got any value so first of all we're looking at this and saying right well there's a good match up there straight away because potentially we can back the horse here at um, 15 to 2 which is 8.5 if you just want to see that we calculate it as 15 uh, divided by 2 and we add 1 back in for the stake and that gives us our decimal figure of 8.5 so that that's the price of the horse there in decimal so that's fine we can back and lay that just in the normal way so if we would we've got to cover the first part so if we assume that we're just going to make say a 50 pound um, bet 50 pound each way so we just calculate this off in the normal way so we've got 50 pounds and it's 8.5 with the bookmaker and let's say that we do queue up well let's do 8.6 because that's what's actually on the screen so we put this into the calculator so for our 50 pound stake because remember that the each way bet that we place with the bookmaker is made up of two elements the win side and the place side so this is just concerning the win side so we've got 50 pounds on at 8.5 we lay out for 8.6 it's going to cost us two pound 80 to get it to get involved with that so just to separate it out um, straight down the middle so in order to calculate the value of the place and like i say we just need to look at what the terms are from the bookmaker which is one fifth of the odds and and it's obviously for five places so to calculate that if we clear that so we take 15 uh, divided by 2 which gives us 7.5 and easiest way for me to be honest I would just one fifth of the odds is 20% uh, so we can just times that by 20% and that gives us 1.5 and then we add our stake back in so that gives us the place odds of 2.5 so we're taking just, just do that one again. So we're taking the odds in, you know, chance of the bookmaker, I just haven't set it up to um, be actually in decimal. But if we, 15 divided by two, which we've got there, we then take the um, percentage there, it's normally only gonna be a fifth or a quarter, perhaps. So a quarter is obviously 25%, a fifth. I just work in percentages, I just find that easier. but. Again, you might have a different calculation, um, but we would then times that by 20%. That's 1.5, and then obviously we have the stake back in, which is always going to be one, so that gives us 2.5. So if we go across here onto the place market, we can see here that land of hope and glory for three places, which if you, if you think about it, gives us two chances of winning. Because obviously if we lay the first three places, if the horse comes fourth or fifth, then we're going to get paid out of the betting exchange and we're going to get paid out by the bookmaker. But naturally we've got sort of less chance of that happening, so the odds are going to be higher. Um, but we've got two chances of it happening. So that gives us, you know, very much these, these bets are not about, we're not making a prediction that the horse is going to finish there. We're just giving ourselves an opportunity to, but it might happen. Um, but obviously in third, if, if, it, if it comes fourth or fifth, then we're going to get paid out on both sides. But that's 3.15. So if we just feed that into the calculator, um, and we just do it in the normal way. There's no free bets or anything else involved. We just take the raw figures here. So our place was 2.5. So 2.5. And our exchange odds... Let's just take what's on the screen. We won't worry about if we queued up or whatever. So we're going to have the 3.15. 3.15. Okay, so we do that. So that's going to be an 11, 11 pound loss. 11 pound 
seventy on top of the two pound eighty before, so it's fourteen pound fifty. So basically, for a fifty pound each way bet, we're we're going to lose fourteen pound fifty unless, obviously, the um, we hit the uh, third, uh, sorry, fourth or fifth place coming in. Um, so that's quite a big. Um, lot, but that's quite a big loss to actually take, and there's probably not any any sort of value in that on the basis that we could just we could just back we could just back it here for a place for fourteen um, with fourteen pound, and and we've got more value there in actually trying to hit one. So so I wouldn't really look at that. But if we but that's trying to steal two places. If we try and look at four places, which means basically um, if if the horse does come fifth, then we will actually. Uh, make money because we will win on both sides then that's looking much more in our favor because remember it was 2.5 so here already we've got money here the only thing you'll notice is that i mean we're obviously a few hours away from the race here uh but these markets are not as liquid as you would expect naturally on the win market so you can get gaps in there and okay we're dealing in relatively small amounts here we're only talking 50 pound stakes but again just be aware that there's going to be gaps and markets that aren't properly formed, um, you know, even up to quite play, quite close to the uh, post time. So um, you, you do need to watch out for that and certainly look at that before you put any bets down with a bookmaker because you don't want to find that there's no money to be able to lay it off with on the betting exchange. So we'll just do a quick calculation on that. So again, 15 to 2, um, it was 2.5 there. And if we look at that, there's money there at 2.54. So we just... If we just went for that, and we go back into the calculator, 52.5, and obviously it's 2.54 there. So that's much better. So that's £2.31. So throw in our £2.80 um, loss on the win market. So it's around about a fiver. So basically what we're saying is we're, we're spending a fiver to try and hit this third, um, sorry, fifth place in the market because we're laying the first four places but obviously what's got to happen is our horse has got to finish fifth in order to do that. So, you know, the strike rate on these are is not very high. When you hit one, it's nice. And, and again, you can think about this, not just limited to horse racing. It's anything with a, with a big sort of market or a lot of number of the runners. For example, golf is quite a popular one to do. Paddy Power had an offer this week on the US Open. Uh, where they were paying up to seven places. So again, you can liken this to other other sports, um, any sort of uh, tournament um, type events as well, where they're offering enhanced places. Where it does come into its own, to be honest, is when you can combine it with multiple bookmakers. So if you've got a race, for example, where um, you know multiple bookmakers are offering enhanced places, then you can perhaps get on board some of the top runners or some of the lightly front runners or you know better horses in the race and you know again it's it's a bet and hope because we can't we're not, we're not actually locking anything in here but again if you can you know, there's two advantages there it gives you more chances because you are covering more horses in the race and also you're combining your liabilities because again you're betting on multiple horses of the race so you're offsetting some of the lay money with um, other runners that are actually in the race. So again, it's really all about value. So on this particular example, you're looking here and it's gonna cost you a fiver um, to have a chance of hitting a fifth place. Um, and obviously, if you do hit that fifth place, then like I say, you're gonna get paid out because you've laid the, um, uh, you've laid your, laid the money back here on the bookmaker, um, sorry, on the betting exchange, and you've also gonna get paid out at a fifth of the odds of 15 to two on the fifth place if the horse actually finishes fifth. So like I say, the strike rate can be low, but when you do actually hit them, it is quite nice, particularly if you start dealing in slightly um, larger stakes as well. So if you're sort of um, using 50, 100 pound each ways, if you can get those on at the bookmakers, then it can be quite a um, um, quite a lucrative way to uh, go forward if you, if you can actually hit them. But you've got to be prepared for perhaps some long runs of not actually hitting those. But anyway, I hope that shows you an example. As again, the key word about all of this is value. That's all we're looking for all the time that we're trying to place these particular bets. So again, quick calculation there in order to do it. 
Um, if anyone wants any more information about this or you know perhaps other explanations or anything else, then do drop me a line, Darren at bet72.com. Um, but yeah, it's always worth looking out. And as I say, you can quickly rattle through these and see if there's any good value or whether it's within your um, sort of acceptable uh, betting limit to actually get involved with these. Okay, keep the questions coming and we'll keep recording the videos. Okay, speak to you again soon. Cheers, bye-bye.